this is a cool story. Two sets of twins from across the country sharing nearly identical stories in the same year. Twin sisters from Texas and twin brothers from California, both known to be inseparable while growing up. Now both are separating this year to go to military academies after hearing the call to serve. And this morning, they're reuniting right here on Fox and Friends, at least virtually. Joining us now are proud Americans, West Point Cadets Emma Kurt and Joshua Lowe here in studio, and their twins, Air Force Academy Cadet Aubrey Kurt and Naval Academy Midshipman Jacob Lowe. As you can see, they're greeting each other from across the country. Hi, Emma. It's super cool. So have you, I'll start with you, uh, J Josh. So you're here. Uh, in studio, and, and along with you, Emma, because you're both at West Point, which yes, is not far from here. That's right. Josh, but you have not seen your brother. Uh, it's yeah. your brother's Jacob, right? It is. Sir. He's at the Naval Academy. Is that the first time you've seen yeah. him since you decided to go to different service academies? It is, yeah. It is. And you just yeah. finished your basic training. You're both freshmen. All of you are freshmen. Yeah. Um, what was it like to be away from your brother yeah. for that much time? Well, uh, before I came uh, to West Point, the longest I was away from him was 12 hours, so it was, it was quite the adjustment. Uh, but I think it was for the best because West Point has helped develop me both mentally and physically. But Jake, Jacob, uh, you, you know, your brother, 12 hours was your previous separation. Uh, since then, you've been through a whole summer of training. Uh, first of all, why did, you, why did you decide to join the Navy, and what's it like to see your brother? Uh, so originally we were both planning on going to West or West Point because that's where our physics teacher she was her son went there so she was uh, telling us like yeah you should go there uh, it'd be pretty neat to go and so but then just the way things worked out I decided I got in the Navy he got in the West Point we just figured it'd be best for us to go our separate ways because it was either now or in four years that we were really that we were going to split up. You guys are identical twins I can see it. Uh, Aubrey let me let me go out to Denver. Uh, to Aubrey from yes, the Air right. Force Academy. Uh, yeah. We wish you could be here in person, but you can see your sister yes, from sir. afar. Uh, first of all, your yes, decision sir. to join the Air Force and be away from your sister. Yes, sir. So I really love the Academy whenever I came, and it had so many amazing opportunities, and it has really propelled me and basic training time so much, and I'm so grateful for it. I love being here. She loves being there. Emma, how do you like West Point? Uh, talk about that a little bit, and then, you know, it's the same question, but it's worth asking, because these are human right. dynamics. Uh, you've been so close to your sister for so long, you made the decision to be in different places. Right, so um, I absolutely love it at West Point. It's become my new home, that's for sure. Kind of was forced to make it my home because of basic <laughs> training, but it's been awesome. It's been a great adjustment. But for Aubrey and I, we were, uh, the longest we've been apart is a little bit longer than them. It's like five days, um, and now it's been almost three months. Yes. Emma, Emma and Aubrey, have you guys yeah. communicated letters? What can you do while you're in basic training? Right, so yeah. during basic training, we sent each other probably 20 yeah. plus letters, and we were there for like 40 days. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. What was the biggest grievance either of you had? What was the toughest part? You go from being together in high school to into basic training in, in, in the toughest yeah. military in the world. What was the most difficult part of the transition for either of you? I guess for both of us, it was really weird not being known as the twins. Right. I guess we probably used that as a fun fact for a long time that we were twins. Right. And it's weird not having someone to finish your sentences, but right. it's, it's we different. always used to finish each other's sentences, and like occasionally I'll pause and she's not there to finish my sentences, so it's kind of sad. Well, let me bring you back into the studio, Emma and Josh. You two, two different sets of twins, one from California, one from Texas. Now you're both freshmen uh, at West Point. Did you know of each other's stories? Did you discover it at some point? Uh, so no, I, I hadn't known about his story until Aubrey sent me something on Twitter. She sent me a direct message of his story, like your dad posted, I think. Yeah. And I was like, that is the coolest thing. So I found him on Global, which is our the Army Connect connection. Mm -hmm. And I found him and I was like, hey, my name's Emma. I'm a twin too. <laughs> I want to meet you. Josh, you thought you were the only one out there, but no. Uh, yeah, for me, about a week ago, you know, I was just like, uh, you know, just like kind of minding my business uh, at West Point, and then like, someone sent me this article, and they're like, hey, there's another set of twins, and I'm like, yeah. oh, what? Like, this is so crazy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm like, from, from there, this is kind of like, it was just like so yeah. crazy, just like, knowing that there was another set of twins, like, almost the, the same, like, situation. Yeah. Jacob, uh, you and Josh, did you write as many letters to each other? Have you been in touch? 
Yeah, so whenever, whenever time allowed over the summer, I, I would make sure I'd write him a letter to see how he was doing, and that was always the best part of my day. Like, when I would get mail, and then I'd see, oh, when I'm in New York, my I see him drop the road. That was definitely, like, that really got me through the summer. Listen, I remember my infantry officer basic training. When you got the letters, it was always a boost in morale to hear from anybody, oh, yeah. let alone your, your twin sibling who you haven't been with. Let me do a round robin here. We only have another minute. If I can ask each of you, uh, why you put the uniform on for our country, and I'll start with you. Um, to serve yeah. God in my country, that's my biggest part. Serve God in country. Aubrey, I'm going I'm to head out to, uh, to Denver. Why you? Sir, I'm going to have to answer the same. To serve God in my country, and I, I love this country that I grew up in, and I want to give back. Uh, Jacob? Yeah, sir, uh, I'd say definitely, yeah, serving God in country, just... The, the challenge of it and uh, really giving back to it because I've just given you so much. Joshua. Sir, for me, to serve God, uh, to serve others, and also to serve uh, this great country that's uh, given me so much. You guys give me hope, okay? You really do. God bless the Kurt parents and the Lowe parents for raising these wonderful, because your parents weren't in the service, your grandparents were, mm -hmm. uh, but you've decided to step up and serve our great country. It's an honor to meet all of you. you got a lot in front of you, though. Yeah. You've got four years in these service academies, a lot of football games, a lot of rivalries. Uh, what a neat story. Thank you all for being here this morning on Fox & Friends. Hope you see each other in person soon. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Right. you got it. All right, James Comey, found to be 